In this video, we will be seeing about the components of load torque as well as the different types of load. Let us see the types of load torques. You see here, this is a force due to gravity and this is the force due to tension and in this picture we can see there is a friction that is if you are moving in one direction friction will be there in the opposite direction to oppose the motion and this is the force due to wind so all these are categorized into two types active torque and passive torque active torque so the torque due to gravity comes under active torque because you can see here if I take the load upward gravity will be in downward direction. If I move the load from top to bottom also gravity will be in the same direction. So the torque due to gravity, tension, compression or deformation in elastic bodies all these are called active torque because they retain their sign even when the direction of rotation is changed. Even if I go up or down gravity will be always towards downwards. So this type of torque is called active torque. Next is passive torque. You can see here I am moving the conveyor in this direction but friction is opposing the motion of the conveyor. So the torque due to friction, torque due to wind or cutting operation will all oppose the motion. So that type of torque is called passive torque. And they change their sign when the drive rotation is changed. So if I move the conveyor, friction is in opposite direction. But if I move the conveyor in this direction, friction will act in opposite direction. So it always opposes the motion. Now we will see the components of load torque. Already we have seen the fundamental torque equation which is given by this is the motor torque that is equal to load torque plus torque due to inertia. This is called dynamic torque and it will be zero under steady state condition. So this is what we have seen in the earlier video. Now we are going to see what is this TL. Okay. So there are three components here in load torque. One is the friction torque and windage torque and the torque required to do useful work. So this is the torque we need and friction torque and windage torque will be there which is unavoidable. So we will see one by one. Friction torque. We know friction will be present in all parts of the load. There are three types of friction. Viscous friction which is proportional to the speed and coulomb friction independent of the speed and static friction which is also called stiction that is this friction will be available only under standstill condition. It means that um, when the motor is at rest static means it is at rest. So under that condition friction will be there. For example you take a train it has more static friction. It means that it needs more torque to move from the rest position. If when it is moving this static friction will get reduced. But when it is at rest you need more force or more torque to start the train. So that is called the static friction. The friction at zero speed is called static friction. Viscous friction, if you see uh, bearings it will be lubricated because of that we will get some friction that will be proportional to the speed. So Tv is given by B omega where B is the coefficient of the viscous friction. So next is uh, coulomb friction or dry friction means that it is independent of speed. 
so it doesn't depend upon the speed and it is a constant value and third one is the static friction it will be the friction at standstill condition or we can say that friction at zero speed so at zero speed that is near zero you can see that some torque will be there after that when the system is in motion this will get reduced and next is windage torque that is uh, when the motor runs the wind will be there to oppose its motion that torque is called a windage torque so these are all components of friction torque now we are adding the windage torque the windage torque will be proportional to the square of the speed that is omega square so if you draw it it will be like this so this type of torque will be dominant in fans compressor aeroplane all these things windage torque will be more so far we have seen about the friction torque and windage torque so we can add all those torques and uh, draw it in the speed torque plane so it will be something like this okay now one more torque is left out that is the useful torque so what is useful torque means which helps to do useful work so the nature of this torque actually depends upon the type of load we are using so the loads are of different types first thing it may be a constant torque load or a torque proportional to speed torque proportional to square of the speed or torque inversely proportional to the speed so that is called constant power type load so there are different types of load but Uh, we can classify the load into four types first we will see about the constant torque type load as the name says constant torque torque will be constant at all speeds so this type of uh, torque is available in cutting grinding and shaping machines and also in low speed hoist so hoist is something which uh, takes the load from lower level to higher level or it brings the load from higher level to lower level so in such cases you will get this type of curve so next is torque proportional to speed so in this case we can see that the torque is directly proportional to the speed so torque is equal to k omega and this will be available in eddy current brakes in that type of load you can see torque proportional to speed so next is uh, torque proportional to square of the speed so here t is directly proportional to omega square so it will be available in fans pumps compressor will have this type of curve then torque inversely proportional to speed so here it will be a rectangular hyperbola because t is in inversely proportional to omega and um, power is equal to omega into t so the power will be constant in this type of loads so it is called constant power load so this will be available in steel rolling mills paper mills so far we have seen about the load torque load torque is given by useful torque plus friction torque plus windage torque what is friction torque that is given by viscous friction plus coulomb friction plus stiction stiction will be normally zero in most of the drives except traction so here friction torque is equal to b omega m plus tc and windage torque we have seen it is directly proportional to the square of the speed so we can write tl is equal to tm plus b omega m plus tc plus c omega m square here these two are almost negligible when compared to these torque 
so we can leave this one so we can try tl is equal to tm plus b omega m let us see some real time examples if you take the example of a fan compressor or aeroplane in all these cases the wind torque will be dominating so the characteristics will be like this where torque will be proportional to the speed square and if you take a high speed hoist already we have seen a low speed hoist where the torque will be almost constant with respect to speed it is it will be independent of speed it will be a constant line but when you use a high speed hoist at as the speed increases what happens the viscous friction and windage torque will increase and the torque due to gravity also increases so the curve starts to bend like this so this type of characteristics you will get in a high speed hoist in traction system already i told friction will be more so initial you see here at zero speed torque is there here it is zero line here torque is more but after a certain period finite speed the friction reduces so the for the torque will reduce but the other components viscous uh, friction and windage torque will increase as the speed increases so this type of curve you will get for a traction and in case of a traction the low torque that is the graph depends upon the position of the train next is the constant power load so this will be in paper mill or textile mill or spinning mill you can see here this this is rolling over and this has to be done at a constant power so this type of uh, mills will have constant power load so the points to remember here are active load torques they retain their sign even when the drive rotation is changed but passive load torques will change their sign when the drive rotation is changed there are different types of um, components of load torque friction torque viscous friction coulomb friction and friction windage torque and the torque required to do useful work so three components are there in load torque and this torque useful torque can be of any of the type constant torque type load torque proportional to speed or torque proportional to square of the speed or constant power load if you like the material do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel these are some of the references which i have used thank you